Hi, I'm Tony Gondola, Outreach Coordinator here at the New Mexico Museum of Space History. Welcome to another episode of Stories from Space. Enjoy! On October 4th, 1957, at 1928 Universal Time, the world changed. From a site now known as Baikonur Cosmodrome, a Soviet R-7 rocket thundered into the sky, placing the first successful payload into Earth orbit. That payload was Sputnik 1. It was a polished 23-inch in diameter, 184-pound sphere that was placed into a 65-degree inclination elliptical orbit with a perigee of 134 miles and an apogee of 583 miles. Its instrument payload consisted of a simple 1-watt radio transmitter and a battery for power. It transmitted a simple repeating beep at a frequency that could be easily picked up by radio amateurs. With its high inclination orbit and polished reflective surface, it was highly visible in the night sky worldwide. While not packed with scientific instrumentation, internal temperature and pressure was encoded in the beep tones, and observations of the signal provided valuable data on the ionosphere. That said, Sputnik was primarily a tool of Soviet propaganda, a powerful message to the West in the depths of the Cold War that Soviet technology was superior to that of the United States. Public reaction to the feat was muted at first, but driven by the media, it soon turned into near panic. This man stands on the threshold of outer space. It's the biggest story of the year, possibly the number one story of the century. This launching of the Russian satellite, which brings into the realm of possibility all those wild science fiction stories of interplanetary travel. Watch it. It's fascinating. This animation is a graphic portrayal of how a satellite operates. This story of the Russian satellite burst upon a startled world early in October. Russia announcing she had shot a man-made moon 560 miles into space where it was circling the Earth at the dizzy speed of 18,000 miles per hour. For doing it or not? No, definitely not. We should have been the first ones to have it to say such things. I guess the American people alarmed that a foreign country, especially an enemy country, can do this. Definitely alarmed. What do you think about America not being able to do the same? Well, if I was in military service and fell down on a job like that, I could stand a court-martial. Somebody's fallen down on a job, badly. Sputnik transmitted for a total of 21 days and remained in orbit until January 4, 1958. While the United States launched its first satellite, Explorer 1, just 27 days later, the die was cast. The launch of Sputnik and the government and public reaction to the event was directly responsible for the creation of the National Defense Education Act, which directed vast amounts of money to improve public education. It was also the driving event that triggered the formation of NASA in 1958 and the beginning of the space race that eventually put men on the moon in 1969.